Hello friends, I am Ayushi Baragi, representing the topic Respiratory System. Uh, in this video, we are going to look at the functions of respiratory system, components of respiratory system and how it works. The definition of respiratory system is the body system that function is to get oxygen from the environment and remove carbon dioxide from the body. It is very important to human life, uh, brings um, oxygen into the body and humans cannot live without oxygen. The parts of respiratory systems are mouth, nose, nasal cavity, trachea, epiglottis, etc. Now, here is the function of respiratory system. It helps in breathing processes, supply blood with oxygen, remove carbon dioxide from the cells, enables speech production. When we talk about respiratory system, the first question arises in our mind that what exactly, exactly the respiration is. Respiration is the process in which taking in oxygen into the cell, using it for releasing energy by burning food and then eliminating the waste products like carbon dioxide and water from the body. It is a catabolic process as the food is broken down into simpler form and result in the liberation of energy. As, as in simple language, we can say that respiration is the process in which glucose is converted into energy for the life processes. Anatomy of respiratory system. The components of respiratory system are nose, nasal and oral cavity, pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi and bronchioles, alveoli. Now here is the functions of the structure of respiratory system. Nostrils, it traps the dust particle contained in the inhaler. Nasal cavity, it is responsible for detecting smell. Pharynx is lined with the, lined with the mucus and hairs. With the, uh, which helps to filter air. Trachea acts as a passage through which inhaled air gets to the lungs and exhaled out of the out to the atmosphere. It is lined with the mucus uh, secreting cells to which filtered air through it so that the uh, it protect the lungs. So it is called as the, the and uh, that's called the wind. Trachea it also acts as Okay, now trachea uh, lungs, they are the main organs of the gaseous exchange, uh, la larynx, they contain vocal cords, they are also called as the sound box, diaphragm, uh, it, uh, releases and con it releases and contracts the uh, eight gases exchanged during breathing processes, they play very important role during the breathing. Intercostal muscles regulate the vibra uh, variations of the movements of the ribs. Ribs protect the lungs and also aids in breathing. Bronchi strengthen the uh, incomplete ribs of the cartilage. Now the types of respiration. Uh, mainly the respiration is of three types. External respiration, internal respiration and cellular respiration. Intern external respirations occur in the lungs, exchange of gases between the air and your lungs. Internal respiration, exchange of gases between the blood and the body cells. And cellular respiration is responsible for the production of ATP, that means the energy in the cells. Internal respiration, the process by which the gases in the air that has already been drawn into the lungs by external respiration are exchanged with the gases in the blood tissue so that carbon dioxide is removed from the blood and replaced by, with oxygen. Now external respiration, this is the part of respiration where the air moves from outside the body into the alveoli. Uh, simply it is called as the breathing process. Now the breathing processes. Breathing process is divided into two parts, uh, the exhalation and inhalation. Exhalation is the process in which we uh, uh, release out the CO2 fr uh, from our body and inhalation is the process in which we take the air into our body. It's called inhalation process. When we inhale air, ribs get uh, expand as air part air uh, 
muscles contract and the diaphragm gets contract move means moves moves down when, because pressure uh, pressure get created and it moves down so this is inhalation process and in an exhalation process air is exhaled ribs gets uh, smaller as ribs muscles relax and diaphragm gets uh, relaxed this is called exhalation process aerobic respiration the breakdown uh, of sugar to produce energy with where oxygen is present um, it is occur in human beings uh, at the reaction is given when glucose is combined with the oxygen then release of carbon dioxide and water as a waste product and the main product is energy <laughs> an anaerobic respiration it is refers to the oxygen of oxidation of molecules and the absence of the oxygen to produce energy it is also known as fermentation process it is uh, occurred in mainly it is occurred in uh, uh, microorganism or uh, bacteria and mostly prokaryotic organism are responsible for the anaerobic respiration and aerobic respiration is taken place in the uh, human beings okay respiration in animals whether they live in water or on land all animals must respire to respire means to take in oxygen and give off carbon dioxide some animal relay of simple diffusion through their skin to respire while others have developed large or complex organs for respiration now at last importance of respiration all cells need to respire in order to use the stored energy for all cellular processes including building and repairing tissues and organs plant cells also respire in order to use the energy from the food they may they need during photosynthesis in order to grow and reproduce energy in food is in a form that cannot be used by cells during respiration food energy is converted into a form that all cells can use aerobic respiration returns co2 to the atmosphere where it can be used again by the photosynthetic organism okay so this is the end of my presentation i hope you like the video if you really did then hit the like button and subscribe and share thank you